right now on the Tiger Town Talk Line, Tiger Town in Shreveport, featuring the area's best selection of LSU merchandise. We go all the way up to New Jersey and say hello to Harrison Valentine. Harrison is the founder and managing editor of InsideTheTigers.com. InsideTheTigers.com. You can follow them on Twitter at InsideLSU. Harrison, welcome to Talk in Tiger Football, presented this half hour by Carter Federal Credit Union. Stop by and experience the difference. Harrison, how are you tonight? How's it going, Tony? Thank you for having me on. You're very welcome. All right, as I mentioned in the open, you're a very interesting story. Most people yeah. that have a website devoted to LSU football or LSU athletics are either based in Baton Rouge, uh, they went to school at LSU, there's some strong connection to LSU. You are in high school, am I correct? Yes, sir, yep, senior how, in high school. How old are you, Harrison? I'm 18 years old. All right, Harrison, so the obvious question is, how does an 18-year-old high school student living in New Jersey become so involved and so enamored with LSU that you devote a website to them? Now, first off, I can't tell you the amount of times that question has been asked to me. Uh, I grew up worshiping the Tigers for you know no real reason as a little kid. Um, I'm from New Jersey, like you said. Uh, I, I really fell in love with the culture and the tradition of the school, um, just seeing it on TV as a kid. And I recognized how passionate the fan base was and the alumni base having gone to games. Uh, and I went to my first game when I, uh, when I was 12, in 2012, actually, the Chick-fil-A Bowl against Clemson. It was the gut-wrenching loss, the fourth and 16, and they completed it for 17 yards to DeAndre Hopkins and ended up taking the field goal and beating us in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Uh, but the rest was history from there. I became a uh, fanatic. Uh, I go to a few games every year uh, as a tradition, and I really combined my passion of journalism uh, with my love of LSU and formed InsideTheTigers.com, which uh, I'm sure we'll talk about shortly. Well, let's talk about it right now. So uh, tell our listeners, A, what can they find if they make it a habit to go to InsideTheTigers.com? And what I'm really interested in is how do you cover the team? How do you garner the content for your website being all the way in New Jersey? Yeah, so just to give a little background on my website, it was founded in 2015 when I was 15 years old. And it's an independent site that isn't affiliated with the school uh, yet. Uh, it started as an occasional hobby, but the site slowly began to flourish and, frankly, became a job for me, uh, which I um, do in my, like I said, in my room at boarding school. Um, but now, you know, every time Coach O's at the podium, uh, I get out my phone and I tweet every little nugget that comes out of his mouth, uh, every little news uh comes out of his mouth my twitter like you said inside lsu and my uh personal at h valentine lsu i tweet live updates live scoring of games uh and news around the clock and uh we don't just do football the site has loads of content from baseball basketball i even i mean i live tweeted the gymnastics finals last year uh etc so we try to produce as much content as possible and unique content and all the content on the site is written by me i am the lone writer uh, and developing and building the site for me has been a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm fascinated by. I can tell you, when I was 15, I, I wasn't I wasn't doing what you you were doing, building a website. Uh, so, is it safe to assume that you will be enrolling as a student at LSU next year? Uh, I'm hoping so. Yes, I'm hoping so. Yep. Um, that would be a child. Sounds like that would be a, a childhood dream come true for you. Oh yes, childhood <laughs> dream. I. I Bled purple and gold since first. So, yeah, childhood dream. All right, let's uh, talk. By the way, we're visiting with Harrison Valentine on the Tiger Town Talk Line, Tiger Town in Shreveport, featuring the area's best selection of LSU merchandise. Harrison runs the website InsideTheTigers.com. You can follow them on Twitter at InsideLSU. All right, Harrison, uh, LSU closes out the regular season Saturday against Texas A&M. Uh, when you think back to when LSU lost to Troy and uh, the, the sky was falling back on September the 30th, I mean, could you, oh, have, yeah. could you have imagined that LSU would still be in a position to win nine regular season games and 10 overall? So LSU playing for a 10-win season, something they haven't done since 2012 with Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry. Um, after the Troy loss, if you were to tell me that the A&M game would mean this much, I probably would have said you're crazy. Uh, the Detroit loss, to me, I, I see it as a blessing in disguise. Uh, Coach Joe has really done a great job of writing the ship, really getting the leaders like uh, linebacker Devin White and uh, defensive lineman uh, Christian Lockett involved 
in making sure that this season got turned around. Uh, as I'm sure you've heard, Devin White called a team meeting after the Troy, walk, Troy loss. Devin White's only a sophomore, but he, he really acts like he's a senior. Um, he called a team meeting, essentially said this is not how it's going to be after the Troy loss. Uh, this is going to be fixed. And this is a young team that needed some leadership, and frankly, they got it. Um, but since then, they've won five of six, and Coach O's done a really good job of writing the ship. And uh, when a lot of people had his name out the door and after his first season. So it's, to say that this season, this game would mean as much as it does, I would have said you're crazy. So what do you look for Saturday night against a Texas A&M team that has lost six straight to LSU? Kevin Sumlin has not beaten the Tigers. Yes, and actually there's a report coming out right now that says Kevin Sumlin is going to be fired after the game, which seems very deja vu-like with Les Miles in 2015 about uh, the same opponent, Texas A&M, which is very interesting to see how that plays a role in the game. Uh, Texas People close to Texas A&M are reporting that as we speak. Um, but other than that uh, coaching controversy, you know, A&M is solid on offense. Their QB, Nick Starkle, is actually someone Coach O grew up with. Uh, their pass rush is one of the best in the SEC once again. And Orgeron said in his presser that he's really em emphasizing that this, this week's going to be all about protection, just very similar to the Alabama week. Protection is going to win the game. And if, if LSU protects Danny Etling and if they win the battle in the trenches, I don't think A&M really has a shot in this game. Um, but something to keep in mind is Arden Key and Donny Alexander, two of their best defenders, uh, returned to practice yesterday. Uh, Key was not at practice today. Alexander was. But they both remain questionable for the game. Um, obviously, K.J. Malone hasn't played since Florida. He's still questionable, but he's still going to suit up for senior day. Um, and the kicking, the kicking has, yeah. was, was, has been abysmal lately. Yeah. So uh, O's going to Jack uh, Gonsolin, the backup kicker. He's going to start against Texas A&M. Um, so he's giving Connor Culp uh, the seat for the game. But I'm really looking at the battle in the trenches and, and to see if LSU can stop um, an A&M. A&M's potent rushing attack and see if they can protect Danny Etling. Well, Harrison, that's great insight. We appreciate the time, and i got to tell you, I'm just uh, amazed by your story. Good for you to uh, harness all of that passion into something like your own website, InsideTheTigers.com. Folks, if you want to follow LSU and uh, get some more good stuff, visit InsideTheTigers.com. They're also on Twitter, at InsideLSU. Harrison Valentine. Harrison, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck to you, my friend. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having me on. You're very welcome. Harrison joined us on the Tigertown talk line. Tigertown in Shreveport featuring the area's best selection.